Yo, what is going on everyone? This is Rockin' here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to record your Valorant cinematics. I'm going to show you two different methods. One is if you have a friend or someone that you can uh, you can play a custom with so that you can get into the observer mode. And one is going to be if you want to record them uh, on your own. I did release a uh, cinematics pack a few days ago, which I'll leave a link to in the top right corner of the screen right now as the end card on this video and also in the description if you're interested. Then you don't have to worry about recording any. They're all in there, pre-cut, scaled and everything for you. And a couple days ago, I also released a, a how to edit your Valorant cinematics video. So if you're interested in, in watching that, I'd recommend watching that one after this once you've recorded them. There's also going to be a link to that in the card in the top right as the end card and also in the description. Okay, so to start off with, you're going to want to make sure that your uh, video uh, recording settings are set properly. So uh, I'm going to use OBS. It really doesn't matter what um, what kind of software you're going to use to record, um, but you just want to make sure that you have some key details um, uh, set so that your cinematics will come out looking as good as they can. So uh, the first thing is going to be uh, under the output tab in OBS or whatever software you're using, I'm sure you can find it, um, and that's going to be the bitrate. I like to use CBR, it really doesn't make a difference. When you render it out, you'll be using a variable bitrate anyway, but uh, just for recording it, I just use a constant one, just, you know, it's just how I've always done it and it works for me. Um, and then you're going to want to have a bitrate of, I'd say around, depending on the resolution you're recording at, so for example, if you're recording at 1080p, uh, I'd probably stick to around 50,000 kilobits per second. And if you're using 1440p like I am, then around 70,000, because you just want to get as much detail as you possibly can uh, in the video. Uh, so when you crop it in, um, you maintain as much detail as possible because you are going to have to do a lot of cropping to try and hide HUD elements uh, as you cannot get rid of them uh, in Valorant at the moment, unfortunately. Um, then preset quality, if this is an option uh, that you have. Uh, profile high, make sure that's high. I believe every software will have that. Um, B frames 2 is just what uh, YouTube recommends. You can leave that as whatever you like. And then the resolution, you're going to want to make sure that you're recording at a higher resolution than you want to export your final edit as. So for example, if I want to create my video for YouTube at 1080p, I'm going to record my cinematics at 1440p. Um, now I understand some people can't do that because they don't have a higher resolution monitor like me, for example, um, in which case then I'd recommend either trying to use a TV or something where you can get to a higher res, or if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, uh, you can go into the NVIDIA control panel. Um, when it decides to load up and then into manage 3d settings scroll down to where it says dsr factors um, and turn on i'd recommend 1.5 and then that will then enable you above pc you'll see some extra resolution an extra resolution which is going to be um, basically one step higher than the resolution that you're currently at um, and then if you load up valorant in windowed mode uh, and swap to that res everything should be fine um, and then you're just going to want to change your, your recording resolution um, to whatever that resolution is. Um, and that way when you crop in down to the resolution that you want to export at, you'll maintain a lot more of that quality. Um, if you can't do that, say you have a 1080p monitor, I would recommend uh, exporting your, your edit at 720p. Um, just because then you'll maintain uh, more sharpness. Unless uh, you're including other clips on there as well which are actually at 1080p, in which case, you know, you can just deal with, you know, 10 to 20 seconds of uh, slightly lower quality cinematics, you know, it's not too big of a deal. Hello everyone, this is uh, Rockland from the future here. I was just editing this video and I realised I forgot to mention when you're changing your video settings or recording settings in your recording software, as well as having a, a high resolution, you're also going to want to try and bump up your frame rate as much as you possibly can. For me, for some reason with OBS, I'm not entirely sure why, it won't let me record above 120 FPS without stuttering. So that's what I've recorded all of my cinematics at. However, if you can squeeze out 144, 165, 200, 240, whatever you can get, as long as you're getting that frame rate or higher in game, you're gonna to wanna to try and record at that, uh, at that frame rate. The reason for that is so that when you bring it into your editing software, you can lower the frame rate of it. So effectively, if I was to record at 120 FPS, if I halve the frame rate of it to 60, it's still going to be smooth, but it's going to be two times as slow, which looks a lot better for cinematics, especially it makes it 10 times easier when you're editing them. So just make sure you do that as well. I forgot to mention that back to the video. So that's all for the recording settings. Okay, so now that you've loaded up the game, I'm going to show you the two methods uh, that I use to record cinematics, one being on your own and the other being with the help of a friend. 
Um, so to start off method one, uh, we're going to just go to play custom game. I'd recommend going on attackers because at least then you can pick up the spike and move it uh, if you want to take a cinematic in T-spawn for example. Just choose your map, uh, mode really doesn't matter, and then cheats. I'd turn them on uh, and start. For agents, it really doesn't matter who you choose. I'm just going to go with Jet because uh, she she can get around the map quicker. I mean, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Anyone will do. You're just going to be holding your knife out anyway. Um, and everyone's knives are the same. So we're just going to pick Jet for this. Okay, and now you're in the game. You're going to want to wait for the, uh, the timer at the top of the screen to get down uh, and the buy phase to end. At which point you'll go over to Cheats and where you can see it says uh, pause match timer. You're going to want to turn that on. Okay, so as you can see, the game just started, so I'm going to go up to cheats and I'm going to pause match timer, turn that on and uh, hit close and you can see it's now stuck at 1 minute 33 so you won't have uh, round times getting in the way uh, of recording your cinematics. So now a few settings you're going to want to make sure you have set is uh, your video settings and you go to graphics quality and make sure that you're maxed out on literally everything except for VSync. Um, the, if your PC can handle it obviously because this will add uh, the most detail. Uh, to your cinematics, which uh, you know, obviously you want. Um, one thing that I'd recommend turning on low is this UI quality. As you can see, if you look in the top left at my mini map, I have this uh, this circle around it. Whereas if I turn my UI quality to low and close, the circle's now disappeared, giving you a little bit more space when you crop in uh, to the center of the to the center of the video. Um, another thing that would help with that is if you go to um, general minimap and change the minimap size to the lowest it will go um, and the zoom to the lowest it will go and then you can see it's much much smaller um, and the final thing is going to be your um, your crosshair which you're going to want to turn the opacity down uh, on anything that you have on so there you go now you can see my, my crosshair has disappeared so this section just above my my hand and below the top HUD um, is going to be the part that uh, we're going to be cropping it down to where the actual cinematic will be um, as currently there's no way to get rid of the hard environment unfortunately. Um, what I'd also recommend is if you play at a particularly high sense, if you can um, if you can turn your sensitivity down, um, that would help a lot. So for example, I'm just going to drag mine down to like, oh, how much is 0 0.1 is way too low. We'll go for something like 0 0.05, maybe a little bit more, and 0 0.1. There you go, that'll do. So it's nice and slow and smooth because Valorant doesn't have uh, controller support like you would in games like Fortnite for example. Um, so everything has to be done with keyboard and mouse and if you can reduce as much of that mouse jitter as possible, your cinematics are going to come out looking 10 times better. So to record them you're just going to want to go find wherever it is um, that you want to record your cinematic. Um, let's see if we can find somewhere. Okay, so I like the look of this uh, this uh, alleyway right here, so I'm going to uh, record my cinematic here. Um, so what you're going to do is extremely simple, it's literally just how you'd play the game normally, you're just going to run and while you do it, you're going to move your mouse from bottom to top, or if you feel like it, top to bottom, it really doesn't make a difference, whatever whatever you feel. Um, so about now I'd obviously start, start my recording software. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. So as you walk forwards, you're gonna want to just move up, just like that, and it may take a couple takes to make sure you've got it exactly how you want it to be. And we'll see which one of them looks better in editing. Um, so that's pretty much all there is for method one. You're just going to go around, choose the places you want. So up here, you know, we could start up and work our way down, for example. You see, just like that. Um, and then when we cut that and uh, change the frame rate down to uh, to 60, that'll be a lot slower and a lot smoother. Uh, and if we need to, we can we can stabilize it in post uh, if we feel like it's necessary. Now if you want to know how to edit these cinematics, um, I'll put on screen now what the cinematic looks like once I've edited it. And if you want to figure out how to do that, check out my 
a couple of videos ago where I made a tutorial on how to edit your cinematics. Uh, it will be linked at the top of the description as well as the end card on this video. Next up you're going to want to set up a way that you can toggle the DPI on your mouse. If you don't know what the DPI is, it basically is how sensitive your mouse is. This is only if you're going to be using the observer mode in Valorant because the observer mode doesn't have an option to change the sensitivity in game as it only gives you the options to change your normal sensitivity. You can't change the observer one. So by lowering your DPI is just a way to get around that. For me, I use Logitech gaming software and I can just go in I can just go into uh, my settings and I have here I have 200 set as my DPI for when I'm recording cinematics. Okay, so my friends just joined my lobby, as you can see, so you're going to want to hit play and then change from defenders to observers or whatever it puts you on. You just want to make sure you're on observers and your friend is either on attackers defenders. Change the map to what you want, mode to standard, turn cheats on, hit start and start the match. Um, if you want to record any cinematics of an agent, say, um, you know, you're you're um, playing a certain agent in a game and you want to get a cinematic of them shooting around a corner or something like that or using an, uh, an ability uh, obviously you know ask your friend to use that uh, that agent but it really doesn't matter who they choose um, if you're not planning to do that and just want you know generic map cinematics all right guys as you can see we've just uh, loaded into the game um, I'm just currently spectating uh, my mate who you're gonna need you're gonna need someone else uh, to do this method um, as unfortunately you can't queue into a custom game uh, on your own, which is uh, which is not too great. But um, yeah, so to start recording the cinematic, you're just going to need them to pause the in-game timer like we did in method one, uh, which you can see he has done already. Um, and then you're going to press V on your keyboard, which is going to launch you into, into observer mode. And this might look familiar if you've seen some of my cinematic packs in the past, where I... Um, where I actually used observer mode to make all of my cinematics um, and it's at the time now where you're going to want to use uh, that DPI setting which we did earlier um, as changing the, um, the sensitivity in game doesn't do anything so for me that's just the middle mouse button on the mouse and suddenly my sense is a lot lower as you can see much much smoother Okay, and now all you're going to want to do is make sure that your um, video settings in under UI quality is turned to low, so that then gets rid of the the uh, the minimap border over here, and um, just gives you a little bit more space to work with. Um, don't have to worry about your crosshair this time around because, as you can see, when I'm spectating, you have a crosshair. It's whoever you're spectating's crosshair, and when you're in uh, observer mode, um, you don't have a crosshair. So what I'd normally do for cinematics like these is we'll use the exact same uh, location that we did for the other one, um, except you can often get away with uh, coming from a little bit further back. So I'm going to toggle from my fast or high DPI to my low, as you can see it's now much smoother. And I'm going to do exactly what I did with the other one, start up my recording software, I'm going to look at the ground. Uh, I'd say you probably want to start at a... Uh, a higher uh, position than you would obviously because um, you are in observer mode you can afford to do that um, and start low and work up to high as you get across this may take a couple of attempts it is quite um, quite finicky you'll end up you know uh, you know if you get it slightly wrong you'll end up you know dipping in the floor like this or something which obviously is not not ideal for your cinematics so it may take a couple tries nothing wrong with that you'll just crop it out um, which I showed you how to do in my in my tutorial so I'm going to start by looking down and then working my way up as I as I get further across so down and then slowly as you can see I'm panning up panning up panning up and stopping and then we'll do it again just to make sure that we've got one that we like um, so we'll start here again I'm gonna look down forwards down 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 we'll look up look up look up look up look up and something like that of course none of them are going to be exactly identical you won't be able to replicate the same thing multiple times um, as there is a lot of variation when it comes to the uh, the observer mode because you can you know be at all kinds of heights you're not just stuck a solid two meters above the ground like you would be as a player um, so I'll just do one more just to make sure um, and I think I actually like that one the best but yeah you'll see what that looks like once it's been edited and everything following my tutorial on screen now
And there you go, that's pretty much the second method. But that's pretty much it for both methods. It's actually really simple in, uh, in Valorant. There's not really much to it um, when it comes to recording cinematics. Just so long as you've got a PC that can record at a high enough frame rate um, and run maximum settings, then you're pretty much good to go. Like I said before, if you if you can't record cinematics for any reason or you just don't feel like it, I did release I've released two cinematics packs actually. One was part of a uh, editing pack as well, so it has other things like overlays and transitions in it, and one was just uh, 75 uh, plus overlays, uh, not overlays, uh, 75 plus cinematics, which you can go and download completely free. Um, like I said before, link at the top of the description and also on the end of this video if you're interested in that. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, check out my tutorial if you're interested, uh, like subscribe for future Valorant content and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.